Madison first grade. Welcome back. You're here in my comfy spot, my favorite reading spot. And because it's spirit week today, I'm wearing my favorite hat. It's a hat that I got. I went to um, Columbia University for my master's and this is the hat that I bought to keep my face from getting burnt. And I'm so grateful because every day when I go on my walks, which is my very favorite part of the day, except for when I get to see some of you. Um, but it helps to keep me from getting sunburned because I get sunburned pretty easily. So anyway, I hope you guys are wearing your hats too. And um, you can even take a picture of those and post them on Seesaw. We'd love to see them. Go Madison Comets, we soar. Okay, so let me dive into our reading for the week. This week we're gonna be talking about characters. Um, I think you guys are gonna like these lessons. They're pretty cool. Um, they're definitely gonna help our comprehension. Comprehension is the goal of reading. That means like I understand what the author is trying to tell me. So um, there are a lot of other things that we learn from reading too. Like for example, accuracy. That means I know how to read the words and I can read them correctly. But today we're gonna be talking about something that can help your comprehension. And that is learning about the characters. This book, as you know, is one of my favorites. I said that when I um, did the read aloud um, because I think this book is so funny. And because um, I read the, um, the story of the three little pigs so many times, it didn't even occur to me that the wolf might be innocent, crazy. So what we're gonna talk about today is, don't mind me, I just got an email, okay. Um, it says, readers pay attention to the characters in their stories. They notice how they act, speak, what they say, and what they think. So mostly it's what they're doing, how they act, um, what they say, how they speak, um, also the way that they say it. Um, do they say it kindly? Do they shout? Um, and then what they think. So I'm going to show you what I mean. For example, here we go. Um, here in this book, here where it talks about, um, this is where the wolf says that really the story is not um, about him eating all of the pigs. His story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar which I was like, what? But this is what he says. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. Hmm, interesting. So right now I'm gonna ask myself, what is the wolf's, what is he acting? Well, let's see, the thing he's doing, he's pointing to sneeze, and a cup of sugar, and he's also telling us a story. So he's telling us his point of view, um, which we'll talk about more tomorrow. And then what's he saying? He's saying that don't believe what you think you know about the three little pigs. Let me tell you the real story. So this is the kind of cool part is when we ask ourselves those things, then afterwards we can say, what is this? Oh, it smushed this a little bit. Sorry about that guys, but you know, I'll read it for you. It says, what does this tell me about how the character feels? So I'm gonna read this part again. It says, but like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. Hmm. So he's saying that the story that we think we know about the three little pigs is not true. He's not a big bad wolf. That really he just has allergies and he has a healthy appetite. Hmm. I think that he feels like, um, I think he feels misunderstood. I think he's like, I'm not big and mean. I just wanted to make a cake for my Nana and I just needed some sugar and I had some allergies. That's all that really happened. And now everybody thinks I'm a horrible person. So I think maybe his feelings are a little hurt 
and that he feels misunderstood. So today when you are reading your story, whatever story that you want, although it's actually, well, it's not entirely true. If it's a story that's a teaching story, um, that's not gonna work. It has to be like an actual story where there are characters and something's happening in them. So while you're reading, pay attention to the characters in your story and notice how they're acting what the, how they're speaking like are they yelling are they whispering um see like what they say and what they think and then think to yourself what does this tell me about how the character feels so once you figure out hmm i think that this is how the character feels and these are the reasons why maybe you could say i think this is how the character feels and then give us two reasons why you think that um, even one reason, depending on the book. Um, and if you have more than that, more reasons, you can always add um, your reasoning. So today, um, on Seesaw or on paper, you can write down how you think the character feels. So the thing is, you're gonna have to just choose probably your favorite part, um, or a part where you're like, hmm, I think I know what's happening in this picture. All right, guys, as always, Hope you have on your hats because Madison Comets soar! See you next time.